All right, Ed Hackey, here's a big moment for you. You have $450. All you need is 50 more to win the game because you've each had an equal number of turns. I know Susan is breathlessly waiting for this, so spin them and let's see what happens. Comic strips, football, comic strips. How do you want to play it? Comic strips. For $100. If you answer correctly, you'll have $550. The game will be over and you will be our champion. Here we go. Sylvester Pussycat has had a hankering for this little canary for many years. For $100, which would give you $550 and the championship, what's his name? Tweety Bird. You've got it, and you are the first winner. Congratulations, Ed, you win $550. In just a moment, I'll give you an opportunity to play for some lovely prizes. As for you, Susan, I'm sorry you don't take home the money, but we do have, as our gratitude for your having played the game, some nice prizes for you. Johnny Jacobs, would you tell Susan what she takes home? Right, Jack. A Charm Glowette, the completely portable gas grill that goes anywhere. Camping, beach, patio, or poolside. Instant flame without starter fluids or charcoal. Charm Glow Products, Antioch, Illinois. And to add to those outdoor gatherings, an assortment of party time cocktail mixes. Party time is tops in quality, tops in variety. And now everyone can make a perfect drink every time. There you have it, Susan. Thank you very much for playing. Let's all say goodbye to Susan, who's been a lovely, lovely girl. Goodbye, Susan. Ed, you've got $550 so far, and lots of things are in store for you as we proceed with the Joker's Wild. First of all, we have to give you a chance to play your bonus round. Now, we're going to give you two spins of the wheels, two. Now, however, instead of categories on the wheels, we have prizes, and they range in value anywhere from $10 or $20 up to hundreds and hundreds of dollars. If you like what you see on the wheels the first time, those three prizes are yours. If not, say goodbye to that and spin again. But whatever happens on the second spin, those prizes are yours to keep. Now, one other thing. Some of our prizes are circled like this. You see that color TV? That's circled. If you should happen to come up with three such prizes, all of which are circled, in addition to the three prizes you have won, Johnny is going to tell you what else you will get as a gift. Johnny? A Chevelle Malibu Coupe. Fits more families, more budgets, and more garages. The popular mid-sized Chevelle from Chevrolet, building a better way to see the USA. There you have it. All right. Okay, Ed. Now we're all set to give you two spins of the wheel for your prizes. Spin number one coming up, if you will. You could win a color TV, import, vacuum cleaner, circle, but you need three circles. Now that's, uh, those imports, that's a $25 gift certificate. Do you want those combinations of three, or do you want to spin again? I think I'll take those. You'll take these three prizes. All right, they're yours. And right now, Johnny Jacobs is going to tell you a little bit about the lovely prizes you've just won. Johnny? A 23-inch color console TV with custom-crafted wood cabinet and color-keyed tuning controls for easy, fast setting. A $25 gift certificate from Pier 1 Imports, the uncommon store for uncommon people. Select gifts of personal items from 63 countries of the world. Pier 1 Imports, coast to coast. And Wallvac Central Vacuum System installs as easily as a medicine chest. Perfect for homes and apartments. Includes accessories from Wallvac, Grand Rapids, Michigan. Those are your prizes. And of course, you have $550. Now, you have a big decision to make. You can quit right now if you'd like, Ed, and take your money home, your $550, and those three prizes, which will amount to about $800 or so. Or you can keep playing. But if you keep playing, you take a risk. Because if you lose the next game, you forfeit the $550. You'll always keep the prizes, they're yours, but you will lose the $550. Our $550 will then be dumped into a jackpot. Now, we're starting the jackpot out. The Joker's jackpot right here is $2,500. And if you should win four games, stay, decide to stay on, and win four games in a row, you'll win in addition to the prizes and the money, everything that appears in our jackpot, okay? So, I'll give you a couple of moments now. Do you want to quit with your money and prizes or go on and try to break our Joker's jackpot? I think I'll keep playing. Good for you, Ed. Time to go for game number two. And to play game number two, we need another contestant. So, Johnny, would you tell us who's up next? Jack, it's a former employee of the Internal Revenue Service, Mary Sprouts. <laughs> Welcome to the Broken Wild, Mary Sprouts. Glad to have you with us. 
Ed's moved over to the winner's circle because he is a winner. He's got the winner's chair. Mary, tell us about yourself. You worked for the Internal Revenue Service? Yes, I did. I worked as a writer, though. I didn't collect any taxes. So. I see. Well, I just wanted to keep in good grace with the Internal Revenue Service, <laughs> yeah. you know? We wish you good luck on our game. I think you know the rules. And in this game, we'll be using the following five categories. Here they are, right here. The Wild West, Ornithology, Rock Groups, Women's Lib, and Democrats. Champion always goes first, so Ed, good luck in game number two. Spin him again, if you will. You've got Ornithology, Wild West, and a Joker. What do you do? I think I'll go with the Wild West. All right, you want a pair of Wild West that's worth $100 for this question. Born in a tenement in New York, William H. Bonney moved to Kansas when he was three and grew up to become a notorious outlaw of the West. For $100, we know him by his nickname. What is his nickname? Billy the Kid. Right, for $100. <laughs> All right, Mary Strauss, your first spin, if you will. Good luck. Joker, Joker, whoa! Rock groups. I think you know you have combinations to make. You can have three on rock groups for $150 or any combination. What do you do? I think I'll take rock groups for $150. $150 for this question. Oh, you have a nice uh, clack out there, Mary. <laughs> now he records as a solo performer, but for many years he was backed by a group known as the Miracles. For $150, what is his name? Smokey Robinson. Right, for $150. <laughs> And all the women are yelling out in the audience. All right. Ed, you got your hands full this time, I think. Spin them again. Joker, women's lib. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you do now, Ed? Women's lib. How do you like that? <laughs> women's lib for $150, which will bring you to $250. Although she received accolades for portraying a lady of ill repute on the screen, in real life, she is closely associated with the feminist movement. For $150, name the actress. No idea. I'm sorry. As you know, if you miss a question, your opponent can answer it. $150, who is the actress we're talking about, Mary? Shirley MacLaine? No, Jane Fonda. Jane Fonda. In Clute. In Clute. I'm sorry, you don't pick up his money, but now you get a chance to spin. Good luck, Mary. Whoops. We have... We have Ornithology, Rock Group, and Wild West. I'll try the Wild West for 50 Wild West for $50? Here's the question. George Armstrong Custer lost his life in what famous battle of the Wild West? The Battle of the Little, little Big Horn. That's right, for $50, you go to 200 all right, right back to you, Ed, in just a moment. We'll find out who wins this game. But first, we have these messages for the people at home.